Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2024 as we continue our Road to Glory run with Barsley Celtic in League 2. We are number one in the league right now, and I think we still also have a game in hand, so we can actually stretch that gap a little bit more. Despite being number one in the league, we've been getting pretty FM'd as well, which is a weird statement to say. We're number one in the league, but we're still not performing as well as we should be performing based on various things. Um... Last game you guys saw was the Reading uh, draw, or well, penalty shootout, I guess, after the draw, uh, which did get us to the game against Leicester there. We did lose against them, although they didn't score against us until the 60th minute, I think. So we held them for quite some time. Unfortunately, we did not sell out the stadium. We did get, you know, a decent chunk of fans there, more fans than we've had in any other game, but would have been nice to sell at the stadium. Uh, but let's back up a little bit. We did go up against Leighton Orient here, <laughs> true against them in a game that we absolutely should have won. Uh, we did get the goal from Bennett there in that one. Uh, game against Morecam, we did it much better. Five goals for us. Uh, we had a penalty shot from Olawa Boring. Goal from Lewis. A uh, pair of goals from Ojungu and a very late goal. Actually, three late goals. Two from Ojungu and one from Peters there in that game. Obviously, we were already in a pretty good spot. Uh, we were drawing against them. And then, uh, I believe they... Yeah, I was going to say, they got the late... Uh, sorry, we were ahead of them, I should say. They got the late draw in the 88th minute. Thankfully, the boys... Took care of business and got us the win when it was all said and done. Obviously, I talked about the game against Leicester here. Uh, I guess they scored in the 58th minute, so it was almost 60 minutes. Uh, and then they didn't score again until the 89th minute. So I thought we did pretty good against the team. Um, who knows? Uh, AFC Wimbledon here. Our Bristol uh, whatever Motors trophy, blah, blah, blah. What is this actually called? Bristol Street Motors. I thought it was Bristol Street, but I wasn't sure. Bristol Street Motors Trophy quarterfinal. Uh, we absolutely destroyed a League One AFC Wimbledon, which does mean if we do get promoted, which is looking pretty good right now, we will probably match up against the League One teams quite nicely. Uh, Ajunga scoring a goal in that one. Bennett scoring a pair of goals. Bill is scoring a goal. And Peters getting a pair of goals as well. Uh, we went up against Tranmere. Beat them 3 to nothing with a goal from Bennett, a goal from Heath, and a goal from Connolly in that one. Uh, our game against York saw a hat trick from Mr. Connolly. Uh, we then went up against Chesterfield. Another game should not have drawn against. A little bit disappointing. Got a go from Ture, go from Jones, and a go from Pi into this game. Uh, we were up three to nothing, and then we gave up three goals late. <laughs> Unexplainably. Uh, it's one of those things. Uh, we then went up against Northampton. Fight, thankfully beat them two to one. Northampton was actually ranked third at the time that we played them. So this is a really strong game for us. Um, pair of goals from Connolly in that one. And then finally, we did get another draw against Newport here. And uh, story of our lives. We went up three to nothing and then gave up three very, very late goals. Can't explain it. I don't know what else to do other than just accept that it is what it is. Uh, Ajunga scoring a goal, Connolly picking a pair of goals. And uh, thankfully, did get the point, but very disappointing result, obviously. Uh, we are number one in the league right now. We do have a game in hand, which would put us four points ahead of Exeter. Uh, we're currently five points ahead of Cheltenham. So if we get that game in hand, we will be eight points ahead of them. Uh, we are outside of relegation for sure. We are guaranteed to not be in relegation. The lowest we could drop right now is 20th overall. Um, other than that, oh, I was going to show you real quick the, I forgot to go back to the competition. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, if we look at the XG table, <laughs> 67 points. Um, which, how many do we have, actually? We're at 70. So we're above the points, but our XG is just insane, right? We've got 88 XG compared to anybody else. I mean, it's just hard. We are scoring so many goals. It's crazy. Uh, so I guess we are technically on the proper points. So maybe we're not getting as FM as I would have thought. Maybe these other guys are just outperforming where they should be. Uh, we do have a number three goal score right now in Bennett in the league. Ojunga and Bennett are the two of the top Average ratings. Bill has got second for assists. Uh, and that's about the only other things that we would care about here. Uh, we've given a couple new contracts to a few people. Uh, for example, uh, we gave contract to Garba. Try to keep him around. We gave a contract to... Um, where is he? Uh, I believe it was Gwen. Maybe to keep... No, it wasn't Gwen. I'm not seeing the other guy that we gave a contract to. And my brain just suddenly forgot who it was. Um, somebody. It might have been... Might have been Powell or somebody. I forget who it was. Uh, so we had a couple guys that you know, had contracts expiring soon that we wanted to keep around. So we went ahead and renewed their contracts. Um, here's the team we're bringing today against uh, Crawley here. Crawley is currently ranked... 
a sixth. So this is going to be a tough game. It is a home game, though. The team we're bringing today is Aconqua, of course, in goal. Developing quite nicely. Uh, Lewis on the left, Bill is on the right, Ward and Davis in the middle. Trying to get more time to Davis. We really want to see him continue to grow, continue to develop, continue to get a better. Plus, he's a little grumpy that he hasn't been playing. Powell and Heath in the midfield. Someday, these two guys will learn to play together and play nicely. Um, and then we got Peters on the left, Ray on the right, and, of course, Jones and, and Bennett up front. But, of course, um, Connolly, we're giving him a little bit of rest today. He's been playing outstanding lately. But I think we got to stick with our two main strikers for as much as possible get them some as much game time as possible and uh basically the lonies try to play the lonies a little bit less than you than we have been i mean Trey and peters we kind of need to play them same thing with josh lewis but we do have guys that we can swap in as needed if we get to a good place and we look like we're winning then we will definitely bring in some guys to rotate in for those so we can get some game time for our i say our youngsters our entire team is made of youngsters so there is no such thing as youngsters for us <laughs> they're all youngsters that noise is a little bit loud. I think we should get this win. I wish we had more fans in the stands than less just under 2,000, but especially for a game that is this important, but uh, it is what it is. Let's get out here and get something done, guys. Come on. Looks like this is our game in hand. Nobody else is playing on today. Uh, There's a good takeaway by Davis. Davis just gives it right back up again, though. There's Billows picking that up, though. He gets it up. Torres over on that right-hand side. Trey's going to be able to pick this one up. Can he get it to somebody? He gets it over to Heath. Heath gets back up to Torrey. Trey's in a good spot. Gets it across. There's Bennett with the goal. And that is how we do things in this, in this new formation with these new players and these young players. And again, here's the thing. I forgot to say this. The Sharks are circling. And what I mean by that is people are coming in for our players. They want our players bad. It is going to be so hard for us to hold on to these guys. I would love to hold on to these guys. The best thing we could do is just get as much money for them as possible, build up a, ch a nest egg, you know, and, and spin that around and do something with that. So we can't hold on to these players forever as much as I'd love to. These are great players, but guys like Ben Jones, uh, any of these guys, honestly, I mean, I could go down the entire list. They're all, unfortunately, going to be taken away from us at some point, most likely. We'll see how many we can keep. Hopefully we can, but... Uh, don't expect us to get into the Premier League with this group of players, even though I actually have a suspicion that a lot of these players probably could play in the early stages of the Premier League. Maybe not, you know, top tier, but at least good enough to potentially keep us in the Premier League. Definitely the Champions League, but possibly as they develop, I actually think some of these guys are good enough to flirt with the lower edges of the Premier League. Hi right, guys, come on. Guys like Akonko and maybe... Uh, definitely guys like Bennett and Jones. I think those guys have so much potential. Maybe not Jones, sorry. Bennett for sure. Uh, Davis, maybe. It's hard to say. Well, we won't know until we kind of get a little bit further along, see what this, you know, caliber of players we get when we're up there. But these guys have so much potential. There's Bennett. Almost got that one. He wanted that one. Good catch by their goalkeeper, though. Come on, guys. If we don't go up by three goals, then how are we going to keep the draw when they score three goals against us in the last ten minutes of the game? Can't believe that's happened to us twice. Torrey with the ball here. Over to Billows. Billows up to Heath. Heath gets it over to Torrey. Torrey gets it up to Bennett. Bennett's in a good spot. Can he get the goal? He cannot. I think he was off sides, actually. He was. I'd like to get one more goal to make me feel a little bit more comfortable about things right now. But... Doesn't seem like that's going to happen right now. Um, Peter's playing poorly. We're going to bring in Mr. Taylor. And, oh, actually, Taylor would have to play for Lewis as well. Uh, we can move Billows across. Billows goes across, and we bring in Simpson. Yeah, Simpson's right there. Come on, guys. Please hold on. Another draw will just be so boring and sad. We lose promotion. I mean, I don't care. I would like to win the league. We, there's so many spots up there, though. Three spots to promote. You know, I, I'd be okay. We've just got one of those three spots. Um, but if we lose any of those, I mean, at this point, ugh, we've played really well. Let's get Powell out of there. I'd like to get Garba on, to be perfectly honest, even though we're only up by one goal. I really just need to give him some game time. You know, we're going to do it. We're going to gamble. It might be a huge mistake, but I need to get him some game time.
All right, last substitute here. Therese, pretty tired. Oh, Simpson's injured. Never mind. John Lloyd comes in for you then. All right. That will have to do. We have been playing so many games. We've played, I think, 12 games, 10, 12 games in a row with at most four days of rest between them. Uh, most of the time, three days of rest. It has been a gauntlet of games. And the guys are pretty tired. I, I'm surprised they've actually made it as far as they have. So, unfortunately, it looks like we're about to... I feel like this is a goal. I don't know why. I just feel like this is a goal. Thankfully, it was not. Oof. I think we should have played better in this game. Come on, just bury it. Bury it, Billows. Bury it, Billows. Bury it, Billows. Bury it! Give me a little bit of breathing room here. No, it was not, not even close. I saw that as soon as, he, as soon as he kicked it, it was over the bar. I was like, that's too high. I ain't coming back down. We held on. Not our best game. But we held on. And it's a top six team, so... We'll take it for what it is. So we're up by four points. Up by eight points over Cheltenham, so... Doing good. You know... I mean, we've done... It's just those draws are killing us. I cannot believe we lost those... Or drew those two games so late in the game. Um, all right, we'll be right back for game number two against uh, Stevenage, who is currently ranked 16. So this definitely should be a winnable game. And then we'll see where it goes from there. Be right back. All right, we're back for our game here against Stevenage. Uh, here's the team we're bringing today. we got Conquo and Go. Lewis on the left. Billows on the right. Lloyd and Davis in the middle. Powell and Heath ahead of them. Peters on that left wing, as usual. Jones is going to come in that right wing like we like to do sometimes when we rotate him out of the striker position. We're going to play both Bennett and Connolly up front today. Oh, let's go. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's get another good game here. No reason for this game to be close. Realistically. Seven shots, four on target. Their co-keeper's already on a 7.4 rating. Oh my. <laughs> oh, is that how this game is going to go? It's going to be one of those games with a superhuman goalkeeper that we're going against, of course. Uh, Heath with the ball. Gets it up to Connolly. Connolly back to Heath. He has been it over there on the left-hand side. Can he get it to him? Tall boy Bennett. Billows with the ball here. On the right. Gets it across. There's Bennett! Oh, that should have been in. Bennett. Wow. I mean, we're going to demand more here. Team should be beating this team right now. I mean, Exeter's not going to slip up. I have a feeling if we slip up, we lose the championship here. Peter's chasing that one down. I mean, the boys are tired. I get it. They played so many games. Peter's gets it up to Bennett. Oh, my goodness. How does that not go in? Wow. We are... It's one of those days, huh? We rolled the uh, low rating on the RNG that says, yeah, this will go in or not. <laughs> like, our luck is not good today. Peter's picking that one up. I mean, he's just keeping the ball and making some good moves. Connolly's there. Not even close. Oh, it's actually going to be a corner, so never mind. Peter's with the corner. Nope, nothing. No. All right, come on, guys. 14 shots, four on target. Can't get anything to go in the back of the goal. Like, if we draw this game, oh my goodness. Oh boy. Yes, I'm not happy. Let's get something together, guys. Come on. Figure it out. Bill is with the throw in. Gets it into Heath. Heath just gives it up because that's what Heath does, apparently. Oh, we're about to give up a goal and we're going to lose this game unexplainably because football manager has decided that we're not allowed to win the championship. All right, Bill gets it up. Nope. Yep, here we go. Unexplainable loss. Unexplainable loss. <laughs> I 
I mean, seven shots on target, a 2.2 XG, and we're losing. Oh, FM, I hate you so much. I hate you with such a deep passion. Oh, my goodness. Connolly comes out. We're going to bring our Jungu in. That's the only sub I'm going to make for right now. Oh my goodness. Man, if only we could play better than the best team in the league, we might actually win this game. Uh, we're actually going to move up to our more attacking formation. Oh, we don't have one on this one. That's right. I'm, I'm confusing this with my Turkish game. We got a couple different formations in Turkey. Uh, I mean, we're gonna break the guys, and this is not this is not acceptable. Oh my goodness! <laughs> hey guys, can you guys play better than the best you ever played? I mean, it's not the best I've ever played, but you know what I mean. Like they're playing well. <laughs> we're not losing because they're playing poorly. We're losing because the game is determined that we deserve to lose today for some strange reason. Unexplainable sometimes. What do we got on the bench? Trey. All right, Jones, you move up and place a Bennett. And Trey, you come in here. Just to get some fresh legs on the attack. Somewhere. I mean, I guess we'll go very attacking. I cannot believe it. Best, we're going to draw this game. This is up, absurd. I mean, moving Jones to striker, he gets a goal all of a sudden. That's good. Still not good enough. A draw is, is a loss. A draw is a loss. It is unexplainable. Like, that XG, they've had one shot and it went to the back of the net. That's a bit unfair. Come on, FM, do better. Do better, football manager. Do better. Make it less obvious that you're cheating. I mean, seriously. Seriously, football manager. Make it a little bit less obvious. Uh, No. Nope. I'm not happy at all. Oh, boy. It's so absurd. No reason to be drawing any of these games we've been drawing. Football Manager has decided we do not get to win in the league this year. I mean, we're making it hard for Football Manager to make that come through, but... All right, next game you're going to see is going to be somewhere down here. Possibly Cheltenham and Huddersfield. We might as well show the Bristol Street Motors Trophy semifinal, see if we can make it past that and get to the final. Why not? Get us something this year. But if we continue this form, we will not, we will definitely not win the league. We might still get promoted. We will definitely not win the league. And that's going to be disappointing just because of some stupid stuff. Oh, well, it is what it is. You guys know, I mean, any of you guys play football manager, you know exactly. This is, this happens so often. It is so depressing and demoralizing. It's the game that we hate to love and love to hate. What can we say? I do appreciate you guys watching though. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.